Hold on, me amigos. Oh, who is it? Your boy Nadi and Sans here for another exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. First order of business, I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. I got super busy with work. I was working on a commercial and a movie. They are both in the video description below. Check them out and see why I wasn't here. I know that's not an excuse. Second order of business, today's lesson. A lot of you have been commenting on my videos and asking me to do certain tutorials. I've got all your asks written down. They're going in the hat and we're picking it random and we're doing it right now. Audio animation, just like this. Just like this. Just, 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 just like this. So we're gonna be learning how to animate some audio today. It's gonna be super fun, really exciting, and I hope you guys are ready. Spoiler alert, they all said audio animation. What's the first thing you do when you open After Effects? You save your project. Saving it under audio animation, click save. Second thing, composition, new composition, 1920 by 1080. We're gonna make it 10 seconds long today. We're gonna click OK. Everything is going well so far. Next order of business, layer, new shape layer. And we're gonna make sure that this is changed from rectangle tool to polygon tool. I'm gonna click on polygon tool and we're gonna make ourselves a polygon here, just like so. I'm gonna come down here to polystar one, tool that down, polystar path one, tool that down. And we're gonna change this from five points to three points. Hit enter. You're making yourself a triangle here, and we're gonna want the rotation to be at 120 degrees, so the bottom lays flat, just like so. And we're just gonna drag this into the middle of our composition, and that is step two. So step three is gonna be to import your music. I'm gonna be using a quick dubstep thing that I made. You guys can use any song you want. It will work for anything, so pick your poison. Don't actually poison yourselves, pick your music. So we're gonna make sure our project window is selected. Right click, go to import, file and I'm going to import dubloop.wave, which is what I'm going to be using today, and I'm just gonna drag it down to the bottom, and I'm gonna let it chill there for now. Step four, go to layer, go to new solid. You can make it any color you want. Let's make it white, who cares? Then you're gonna come up here into effects and presets. You're gonna type in audio, and you're gonna drag audio spectrum right onto your new solid, and it will create this dotted line here. Now, what does that dotted line do? we're gonna figure it out. I mean, I already know, but you're gonna figure it out. So right now it does nothing if I scrub through my composition, but let's change that. We're gonna tag the audio layer. Instead of it being from white solid one, you're gonna link it to your music, whatever you have. Mine's dubloop.wave. And as you see, something happens now. If I scrub through, you can see it's starting to move. That's great. What we're gonna do first is we're going to set the frequency bands from 64. We're gonna crank that up to, uh, let's go 500. So now if I scrub through, the audio waveform is a little bit more visible, which is good. And if we go to our start frequency and end frequency, I'm gonna start bringing down the end frequency and you'll see that it starts to spread out over the line. And if I crank up the end frequency, it'll start to get more down towards the left side. So your start frequency is gonna be your lows, your subs and all that stuff in the low end. And then your end frequency is gonna be your high range. So you wanna keep it at a reasonable level. Uh, because I'm using dubstep, I think I'm gonna put my end frequency to about a thousand. I'm not gonna really go over that. Start frequency 20, end frequency 1000. We have 500 on the frequency bands and we're gonna crank up our maximum height. Uh, let's go 600 there. So now we're starting to get somewhere. Looking pretty good. Uh, you can turn the thickness up if you want. The audio duration in milliseconds is how long it will actually last. Uh, the higher this number is, the slower your waveform will be. So if I scroll through, it's moving really slow. If you want it to go to the beat of the music, you're gonna to wanna to keep this at about 90 or lower. 90 is the default, so we're gonna keep it there for now. You can adjust the thickness if you'd like. It kind of gives it a glow, um, but we're not gonna mess with that today. And now here is where you adjust your colors. We're gonna do a nice blue one today. So we're gonna come down here, make it a light blue. I'm gonna copy this hex code here. I'm gonna paste it into the outside color. You can have these be two different colors if you'd like, but it's gonna make your audio waveform not look as consistent and we want consistency here. And last but not least, we're gonna change this from side A and B to just side A. It will cut the audio straight down the middle and it will allow us to do this. So we're just gonna trace the outside of our triangle here with this audio waveform. Line this up exactly where it needs to be. Looking good there and looking good here. Cool, so we've got one side down. Let's duplicate this layer. 
And very important, in order to be able to move where your points are starting, you just have to go up into this top corner where it says start point. Just kind of wiggle this a little bit. You don't have to move it anywhere crazy, but it will basically put these two dots back so you can grab them. So we're gonna stick that one down here, stick that one down here. Wanna make sure that we're lining everything up properly. That looks good there. And one more time, we're gonna duplicate this again. Wiggle your start so we can throw this up here. Throw this down here and make sure that everything is lining up. Cool, let's play this and see where it's at. So that looks pretty cool. I think I might want to adjust my end frequency because in the upper register of this sound, we're not really getting a whole lot of action here. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna turn my end frequency down to 700. So we fill out that space a little more. So I'm gonna do that for all three. Turn this to 700 and this one to 700. All right, let's see where we're at now. Nice, that's pretty cool. So last step in this process, uh, we're gonna mute our shape layer so it's just the outline here. And there's a couple different things you can do. So this is the digital waveform on these guys. If you come in here and you go down to your bottom, there's a few different options for display. There's digital, analog lines, and analog dots. Analog lines is pretty cool. Uh, it gives it a totally different look and feel. So we're gonna change it all to analog lines just so you can see what that looks like. Uh, much more of an outline, much cooler looking if that's the style that you're going for. Uh, if you do analog dots, every time a, a peak happens, you'll get these dots. Uh, if you just look on this side here, there's there's dots that happen every time it, it comes up, which is kind of neat. But for today, we're just doing digital. So obviously you guys can do whatever you want. You don't have to make a triangle. You can make any shape that you want, but use the knowledge. I always say this. I always say this because it's true. Use the knowledge in today's video and create something on your own. Experiment on your own. Don't do exactly what I do, but use the knowledge that I'm giving you to create something that you want to create. If you don't want to do a triangle, I'll show you real quick how to do any shape you want. Layer, new, solid, make a white solid. And I'm literally just going to draw a shape with the pen tool, right? So we'll kind of do that. Let's, let's call it that, right? And then we're gonna go up to our effects and presets, drag audio spectrum onto your white solid. We're gonna set the audio layer back to our music layer, which is dub loop. And we're gonna set our path now to be mask one. And then what that will do is it will make the audio waveform follow whatever you decide to draw. This is a very haphazard drawing, but you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. We'll set this back to 700. We will set the frequency bands up higher. We will set this to side A. We will set the maximum height higher. And then if I scrub through, you'll see that the audio now is following that line. So you can outline things, you can do whatever you want. If I wanted to, I can now come in here and I can just move this mask and it will move my audio to different places. So that's kind of cool. I know a few of you have asked me to do this video. So the few of you that have asked me, I hope today's video was super helpful and I hope that you guys go and create something really cool. Look, I'm sorry again for not being around. I am going back to making videos weekly. So you people that have been commenting and asking me to make tutorials for you, don't worry, help is on the way. I'll write them down and we'll pull them out of the hat again. As always, don't forget to follow me on social media at Naughty and Sands on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more things, learn how to edit stuff. You wanna learn how to edit stuff? Subscribe to my channel, seriously. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel.